This is Dr. Myers. Uh, good morning. Hey, this is a gentleman uh, who's had acne problems and blackheads his whole life. And, you know, sometimes it bugs him more, especially if they get inflamed and angry. So we're going to try to express some of these and, and, um, and get this down to a more manageable load. So we'll do that now. A little bit long, but... Yeah. So what did you do for all of your... Uh, what was some of the acne treatments that they tried for you? Well, basically just uh, tetracycline. Just tetracycline? How long were you on that? Oh, about, about a year. A year. You know, the tetracycline was kind of the... We still use minocycline, which is similar to that. Um... But kind of in the same family of of medicines. Right. But it really never did anything. Yeah. Shoot. Yeah, you you really just kind of have this acne that that you kind of make these oil, oily blackheads, and you can see you've had these scars. What were these things though? Uh, a couple of cysts just popped up. That were m removed surgically. Or yeah. did they just that? No, they just cut him. Yeah. I could tell you a great story. I was shot in the back over in Vietnam or something, but you know, really, it was just uh, the one on the left never hurt, but the one on the right was very painful. Uh, Does this hurt you? That yeah. me doing this? No. Please tell me if any of these hurt. I can kind of some of these that are a little bit deeper. Um, Perfect, thank you. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's go up here. So where'd you grow up? Are you from here? I guess I am now. Where, 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 where well, were you? Well, I never, yeah. Colorado, Wyoming. Where were you? California. Where'd you go to high school? Evanston. Evanston. Well, I graduated, but I went up to Lander, too. Yeah. So now you're here in Lehigh, or...? Yeah. Well, I used to live up in Salt Lake, and then... Moved down here? Back in 86, I... I went to Phoenix... No, 82. 80, anyway, 86. I went to Phoenix to work for a... I thought it was going to be two years, and then... Forever? It took me almost 30 years to get back here. What wow. were you doing down there? A construction superintendent. Oh, cool. It's a good place to be. It's got, always got good weather for construction. Oh, yeah. Let's do this one right here. Well, I'm so sorry about uh, all these little pokes, but... Yeah, don't worry about them. Okay, it's just, just got to be done. Yeah. I'll try to go faster to kind of just get through these. Don't they have to make a super high pressure vacuum? We need to make that and just suck mm -hmm. all these bad boys up. Oh yeah. How interesting would that be if that negative pressure from cupping, like, here, can I get some more gauze, please? Yeah. If that like helped that, that would be, I mean, I don't know if that's, if you could always do that, but that'd sure be neat. Well, I'm sure you look on Facebook, I've been on the internet, you can find something. Some, some little some, contraption? Some little contraption that's a scam. Yeah. You send in your 1995 and, and never get anything get back. get all your blackheads off? As seen on TV. Yeah. As seen on Facebook. <laughs> that's true. So do you have kiddos? Do you have kids? Oh, I have five. Are they around or? Four of them are. Yeah. How about you? I got four too, but well, I've got four, uh, and they're, you know, they're they're younger, so they're all around here. Where you, where's your kids at? Well, uh, Salt Lake and the American Fork, Lehigh, and then out in Denver. How many grandkids you got? Just two. Two grandkids. Yeah. But I've got a couple of. My twins just got married, so I, I this last year, so I have high hopes for them. 
having kiddos. Pretty quick, yeah. Grandkids. That's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. am I bugging you? Is yeah. this hurting? Oh, it's a little, you know, it's not the, nothing I can't bear. How many grandkids did you see? Well, I don't want you to bear it. If it's hurting, let oh, me it's know. Not that bad. How many grandkids? Two. Two. He's got two kiddos. I miss. Maybe some more on the way with the new marriages. Here's some here. No, that's the pain that's there is a piece of cake compared to plantar fasciitis. You have that? Yep. Uh, ouch. I don't know if I can get this one down in here. Plantar fasciitis is a bugger. To say the least. What's helped? Has anything helped? I've found a pair of insoles I bought off of online and that seems to have been helping. Probably the least expensive ones I've bought. That they for the really, insoles. But they're really good. Yeah, I've uh, I've never had it, but oh, you'll sit in. Once everybody leaves, your hurts so bad. You'll come sit in the office and cry because the pain just. <laughs> yeah, we can do that one. You ever had sciatica? I mean. After a long run, I get sciatica, okay. uh, but not like chronically. Okay, well then that'll, the plan of fasciitis is about five times worse. <laughs> uh, well then, no thank you. Let's see, let's go up here. Minus, my plan of fasciitis has gotten better, but there's... A couple of years ago, if someone offered to cut my feet off, I would have done it. Jeez. Put some prosthetics on. That bad, huh? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, uh, I've been pretty lucky about my feet. And I know feet like surgery and... In fact, I had this buddy who was in... You know, there, it's like controversial what you do for plantar fasciitis, but he was like in a walking boot for six months and and then he wore like really wide shoes and let's go back here let's see what's yeah doctors you know, I guess it's just one of those things everybody knows what you got but they don't know what to do for it yeah well you know I just kind of switch off till I found the right right insoles and the mm -hmm. right shoes to wear like the right um the right lift, basically. Yeah. Let's see here. Here's some over here. So what are you doing currently? Are you still doing construction? Oh, no, I'm retired, basically. I, I work part-time at Walmart. Just for something to do. Yeah, you bet. I just... I don't have the... I have the funds to retire and the... In the manner in which I'd hoped to be, my ex-wife took care of that for me. But uh, well, so I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it is what it is. She's out of my life, so yeah, it's worth every penny. Yeah, well, get all busy. Yeah, I would imagine hardware would be your. Uh, You're pretty mellow all the time. You. A couple years yeah, ago when I started down there, I was in the toys. I hated that. Why? Because you had to keep re-putting the toys that, back. That's probably true. Yeah. Yeah. My kid. Sorry, my kids probably were riding something, and you had to put it back. For all I know. Yeah. No, I tell the parents make sure you put your kids put the toys back. Yeah. A lot of them didn't like it. That that's the way it goes. Hmm. Let's see here. Here's a. A lot of these are like little triple ones. Yep. You kind of get them in bunches. These are kind of smaller ones, but. Let's get these. We've got. We've got. We've got a ton off of you, bud. This has probably been the most uh, efficient, better than your son. What are you using? What? See that oh, tool? Oh, that little 
that little thing, okay. Yeah, you seen those before? Yeah. Is, is that what your son uses, or just uh, Q-tips, or? Q-tips and fingernails. Hell, I thought you had something more high-tech. I know, this Look is all I got, man. That's about as high-tech as you get, huh? Listen, I just need some guy from the hardware store at Walmart to, uh, to invent me something a little bit more. I know, this is, this is all we got. Works pretty good. And really, these have slipped out easy. If, if they're super hard, then you have to, uh, you have to kind of make a little opening, but like... Well, that is really... That doesn't destroy the skin either. And, uh, no, it, it doesn't really. It just basically gets out that, that uh, you know, central area of blackhead. All right. I think we're just uh, at the last little couple areas here. I went to the hardware store at Walmart, or hardware section the other day at Walmart to get extension cords for my Christmas lights. Yeah. We do get them go through a lot of those now. But he, all he did is he just pulled it out and then left it on the floor for for you to clean up, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't want that one. Yeah. yeah. You know that one that I totally unreeled? <laughs> I don't want that one. I want a different one. I want one that's not open. That's right. Okay, we did our worst. No oh, good. Yeah, actually, no. This looks really good. So, all right, and then I think we're gonna start you on that medicine to sure get control of these. So.